Ewan, welcome to That Show with Marky. Thank you so much for joining. How are you going? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. Um, thinking about um, how to stay show fit, I couldn't really think of anybody else that I'd really want to talk to because I've seen you in so many different roles all performed with you. And, you know, okay, from Priscilla to Saturday Night Fever, or even, and then you have to do Kinky Burst, but like the change in who you had to be on stage is so different. Um, I guess let's answer the question first. How do you stay show fit um, in any shape or form? Well, it depends obviously on the role and what show I'm doing and the body shape that I um, want to be able to maintain during that period. Yeah. Um, and for me, it's, uh, for instance, say Priscilla was kind of when my body started to change um, the most, like the very start of that show. Yeah. Um, and the best thing for me was to do F45 because I need to do a lot of cardio for that show to trim down um, as much as I could and um, keep the body weight, um, sorry, the, the weightlifting to a minimum, which was hard for me because that's what, that's what I love to do. That's my favourite form of training. So it yeah. took me a while to get used to that. And then for Saturday Night Fever, it was the complete opposite. I took advantage of being able to do as much training as I wanted. So I threw cardio out the window and just started lifting heavy weights and would train, you know, five, six times a week, depending on my schedule and how available I was. But for me, it, it kept me sane. It's, um, it's another reason, it's another purpose for me outside of the show, which for me is really important. I love to have something else to do, not just uh, within the show. So the training side of it wasn't also, was also for myself, not just for the role that I was playing, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess physically it's always, it does for, you know, going from role to role and all does differ. Um, how do you mentally sort of stay show fit within when you're not in a show? Um, I think a lot of people struggle with that where you go, okay, so I haven't seen uh, <laughs> the phone call or, you know, or a show's not there for me. <laughs> um, how do you stay on point? Well, that's hard because when you're out of work and you're going in for auditions, the, the requirements all change and vary depending on the show. So they might not be looking for, uh, you know, well-built men. They might be looking for a more slim, um, more toned type of physique. So it is hard, but I think if you go into an audition, regardless of what the show is in your best version, your um, fittest version of yourself, the best way you feel, I think is perfect. And after that, if, you, if you're lucky enough to get the show, you will be able to, um, uh, uh, what's the word, um, compromise with what they're asking for. But outside of work, it is hard because you lose motivation. And I think people find that really hard is that there's, no, there's nothing motivating them to keep going to the gym, especially now during this isolation period. People that rely on going to the gym, um, that idea of just getting there and go, leaving the house and going to the gym and having 45 to an hour is what I think people struggle with the most. For me, I'm someone who I love to go to the gym. I like the idea of going there and staying for an hour or whatever I want to. For me, it, I've actually found it really hard. I've actually found it really hard to, um, to get the motivation to work out as hard as I was doing previously. So it has taken me a while to figure out what type of workouts and training I need to do at home that can still maintain that shape that I would have if I was training at the gym. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I have found it a little difficult um, with that, but in saying that, there's so much available online for people. Like, it's crazy. I think people are, can now uh, are open to a whole new world that they can train at home, they can do those things. And no one wants to train at home when you, someone tells you at the gym, or do this, that, you know, once a, once a day at home. Everyone's like, no, 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 <laughs> I'm not yeah. doing that. So yeah. I think, been great for people to find their own self-motivation at home without a trainer and without um you know a commercial gym and such around yeah. um so how do you stay i mean for me personally i know like mental health and being 
um, mentally sort of accepting my ups and downs, being in and out of a show. Um, I, I find, you know, my meditation has been fantastic. Um, do the Wim Hof method with breathing and cold showers and having a routine. Um, like, I mean, I hope your mental health is okay. How are you going? Are you, are you okay? You're good. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, if you, um, it's, I guess in isolation, mental health is a huge issue, but I guess being in and out of shows, we're kind of used to being mm. in this position, really, like there's no work, we can't see what's happening. Um, how do you stay positive and within the theme of saying fit? I mean, the positive, we have to keep our brains fit as well. Yeah. I don't think that it gets any easier and that we become professional at accepting our ups and downs i think as that wave comes we all deal with it different ways each time for me that's what i've noticed anyway i don't have a specific routine that i know how to uh, i don't know train my mind to get out of that headspace i find myself that i need to feel that emotion and then just move on yeah but it has been hard for me because this is this is probably the the first time that i have had a break from being in a long running show. So it took me a good six months to get out of that um, roller coaster wave of emotions until I was okay and accepted with my life at the moment. So moving into um, this isolation period was still a shock as it would be to anyone. Yeah. But didn't, I don't think it affected me as much as those people who unfortunately lost their jobs with shows and not just in our industry, but with everyone, with everyone else kind of had that wave hit them that I felt six or seven months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm just lucky that I have family around and a purpose each day of just being able to get outside the house and do things in the backyard, do things in the garden and not be left alone with my thoughts. Cause I'm not, I'm not very good at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. Sure. <laughs> I struggle. I'm I'm not good at that. So it's been amazing because I haven't really thought about it. And I know that if we were by ourselves, Mitchell and I, in our own apartment, we would struggle just because there would be nothing for us to do. So I really feel for people that are alone or are just, you know, not being able to get outside and do those things. Um, oh, message. Um, <laughs> are struggling. So... I'm yeah. just grateful. You know. Right. Well, that's amazing. Thank you so much for um, diving in on this question. Um, I hope I'm, I no doubt will want to speak to you again in the future on something else, but uh, yeah, just had to get you on for this one. So thank you very much. Thanks for having me.